you want to open up with a song like we normally do? Like Christmas? I don't know. I was actually thinking Melakilikimaka is the thing, thing to say <laughs> on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. <laughs> All right, never mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this let is me, actually wait, a. Let me fix I don't that. know what the fuck he's doing with my mic. Huh. He's touching it. He's touching the tip. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually Just the a kind of a crossover shots. between drunken animals and geeks on tap. We're here with. The man, the one, the only. Wait, wait! You didn't tell me there was a fucking celebrity here. Man. Isaac Harrigan. What the hell's wrong with you? Guys, do you know who this guy is? Hey guys. Do you know this man right here? Yes. This man has been traveling far and wide to find some of the best libations across the land to bring us here, and now he's here for our holiday episode because this man right here has brought us the best of the best, and we're going to start talking about what holiday beers you have, right? He literally went to one beer shop. I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> just ruined the suspense. The mystique. That is funny. I was but about to build so you funny. up the same way that he built me up. The way that I was going to build you up was, oh, it's not just me, but you're right. I am amazing. And I did travel far and wide, ladies and gentlemen, at home to bring you the best holiday beers you can imagine. But I also brought with me one of my best friends and one of my fellow beer nerds. She's weapons grade, beer geek. Weapons grade. She grain. knows her that. shit better than <laughs> just about anybody else in this town. Her name is Sahara Smith. Sahara Smith. Hello. Yeah. She oh, helped. Blah, blah, blah. Hey. She also. And the crowd goes wild. For the record, she also helped me cultivate this particular uh, batch of beers that we're bringing to nice. you guys tonight. Milieu, well, guys, if uh, you will. I want to introduce you guys to us. My name is uh, Duck. This is Chicken. This is Monkey. Woo. Stabby Gabby. We are part of the Drunken Animals. Now, mind you, we've been following you guys for a little bit because uh, Geeks on Tap is a beautiful show that's being put together. And you have been. This uh, we're following this journey where you're going along and you've been kind of the hero's journey of coming from meager means to suddenly Did you find, find a, a quest and uh, Did I find what? A fight a minotaur. No, I did not have to fight I think he should fight a minute. I I just had to fight my uh, my white trash upbringing and my actual (laughs) inclination towards Bud Light. And uh, (laughs) I did that, and I won. So I feel like uh, I'm doing a pretty good job. It's on the same level. Isaac, I'm going to be really disappointed if by the end of this podcast you have not fought a Minotaur. I'm just putting that out there personally. There you go. We've got it. We've got to do that. Would that impress you sufficiently? Sufficient. I mean, more so than anything else you've done. Do Minotaurs come to places that are like snow capped. <laughs> I know. What is this? <laughs> what the Notice we're in a very holiday mm-hmm. theme here. They're not. They're not yetis. They're not, they're not yetis. <laughs> well, wrong guys, country. Why not? Dude? Wrong animal. So okay. So geeks wrong on tap. Era. What is what is geeks on tap focus on? I mean, I okay. Mind you, uh, we drink. We drink excessively here, and a lot of times, geeks on tap. You guys really the drunken animals. Yeah. They drink. Well, you guys, Weird. you guys have suggested many <laughs> yeah, beers that we've actually had on the show. A lot of the suggestions that we do here on the drunken animals has come from geeks on tap, specifically cool. Isaac here. What uh, can you explain to me for what? those that are listening, like um, this culture, this beer culture, this idea that you know there are craft beers, and then you mentioned you know the Bud Light, the Bushes, stuff like that. So like, that's what I grew up with, and I hate. So to did say, I, I hate man. Those. I grew. I, I grew. Those. I grew up in rural Ohio, and I didn't drink beer for a very long time because of the fact that uh, beer to me was Budweiser, Miller Lite, Milwaukee's Best, etc. And then about the, 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 eight uh, years, and then about a stuff. decade ago. No, no it's not. <laughs> it's Beechwood aged. It's Beechwood aged. What is Beechwood <laughs> aged? You. They you. don't even know what that means. <laughs> Do they just, they just find random driftwood and go, yeah. we're going to put it in a beer. They pour it into a keg yeah. while they're Except thinking of the beach. Except driftwood doesn't sound as fancy no, as Beechwood aged for your rice and corn piss. <laughs> uh, we washed up on the beach of Galveston delicious. and we threw it in beach our beer. Beach of Galveston. <laughs> There's bits of glass and a little bit of used condoms. Let's not forget the heroin needle. <laughs> they add flavor. Um, so what it is is that. What condoms are for. <laughs> so about a decade That's ago, uh, I moved to Austin, and I got here like right as the craft beer explosion was happening, and I got lucky to work at a place that encouraged craft beer usage. Oval Divines. Hi hey guys. Yeah. And I love Oval Divines. And I learned from a, a really great dude. Uh, his name is Jake Adams. Hi Jake. And you know that's what I'm going to do every time I mention. So every time I name drop, that's going to happen. Camera. Every time we Look name drop, camera. we're going to hear the hey. As a Jacob, <laughs> a I, I salute Cage. you. Oh, yeah. I love Jake. you. And then a picture will show up and it'll be crazy. Uh, but uh, Jake was the one who had really good patience with me. And he sat me down. I realized after about a month of working there that I wasn't up to snuff. I didn't know the difference between like 
any beers whatsoever. Beer was just beer. It was something I drank in between shots of Jameson because I was just an alcoholic. And then <laughs> after, we all? We all? <laughs> after Jake spent a couple of months with me, like going over literally every single beer that we had, both on tap and in bottles, and then I developed my own taste for it, realized I had a really good palate, started yeah. reading books, blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, over the course of the next decade, I am now the me you see in front of you, which is someone who actually uh, has justified his alcoholism. Oh, so, yes. Okay. So, oh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, we're talking these, uh, so you're saying craft beers have, from what I'm understanding, from learning from you and from enjoying some of the Geeks on Tap yeah. stuff, uh, you know, that you guys, because you guys are in the middle of shooting shows and I get to, I get updates and stuff like that from you guys. Right. Are you guys, uh, I mean, uh, you're basically talking about that it's, uh, these are different things that are people doing. They're going back to the basics of putting beer together and doing different recipes or doing different ways of, of creating beer that is beyond the concept of, of what these big brew companies are doing of just corn and, and water and whatever. It's more a matter of going, yeah, it's more a matter of going back to, like, the basics. Like, according to Ryan Hutzke about the very period of love, 1516. Uh, yeah, show off. Um, <laughs> a lot, beer is water, malt, hops, and yeast. And then variations in the yeast strains, the malt bills, the hop bills, and all of that, it allows you to have beer. Well, I will say, though, that uh, recent tradition in, in brewing, especially, like, at, at places like Jester King, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they are Wait, hold on. throwing hold on. back to even Absolutely. even yeah. like farther distant traditions than wow. just the Run Heiskabot. They are throwing back to um, like ancient farmers that would brew based on seasonal ingredients and seasonal availability and local botanicals, and they had no strict confines. It was just like they brewed with a malt base, yeah, and that was what defined mm. beer. They didn't even use hops back then. They used you know, local herbs that would help preserve the beer, which is basically what hops do. Yeah. yeah. And that was called a gruit. And well, now we use now you, we use hops. Yeah, if you if you've ever had a gruit, a modern day gruit, though, yeah, they're kinda gross. It's so it gross. sounds it's like it's so bad. It sounds <laughs> so bad. <laughs> hops were the best addition to beer ever. Yeah. And so, the reason that hops well, the reason that uh, like IPAs and hoppier beers exist is because they aided in the preservation of the beer, and they also yeah. didn't taste fucking disgusting. Nice. So. Okay. <laughs> right. So you guys, very okay, on your on your travels, you've been to uh, several different breweries, mm -hmm. but um, today you guys have kind of put together a list of for our Christmas special. Uh, mm -hmm. So what can we? Uh, you want to just run through the list real quick, and then are we'll, you telling we'll me we're getting down? presents? We are getting presents. You're getting. You're you know getting what those presents are? You're gonna get drunk. Beer. Son. I'm just can kidding. I just say it's <laughs> been entirely too long no. since I had oh a God. sip of beer, and by that I mean it's been about 15 minutes. So can we just get? Let's cracking? do that. Yeah, let's, let's do, do this. Woo! Cracking. Um, Start actually, with the first beer. It's been what about do we got? Seven seconds. So I'm gonna let um I'm gonna let Sahara take this one because this was one of her additions. To Ooh. it. Um, so this explain is, this one right here. We're okay. looking at. This is super traditional. I'm just going to put it's the mic down. It's fancy wrapped. Are we, fancy wrapped. Are we, so are we yeah, talking about this? Are we, we going to unwrap a leg? So, uh, this is this a, it, is, uh, it's, an, it's a major award. This is Durant Brewery. Uh, this is their Père Noël. It is a hoppy, very dry Belgian beer. But the hops that they use are noble hops, which are more like peppery, grassy, herbal, less of the um, typical, gotcha. thank you, mm -hmm. uh, West Coast citrus hops that we're accustomed to in the U.S. Mm -hmm. It is one of my favorite Christmas beers because it's not cloyingly sweet and it doesn't jingle have a shit bells, ton of cinnamon bells, in it. Jingle all Santa's way. here. Santa's Are you here. fucking kidding me? Did you? Santa! Did you fucking? <laughs> I know him. I know him. <laughs> you, it's you Isaac. Are gonna, we are leaving until I meet him. By the way, this. By the way, this is my keychain. No, no, I have two you. keys on he's, it. He's 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 Santa, dude. The they're the Santa. They're both Santa right now because they're bringing us beers. Now, that's I, I okay. don't believe you. They look so too. You they saying, look too good right now. You're saying he interrupted. He interrupted with the jingle bells. I'm like sorry. The, I'm sorry. So so you finish off where you were. No. I'm sorry. No. So yeah, this is this is one of my favorites. You're it's this, not. This, we're like little ADD children. You start jingling things in front of us, and we're like, what? Something's tiny. Squirrel. He stole it. Uh, yeah, he a lot it. of uh. a lot of winter beers are going to be like more stouty mm -hmm. or more like winter warmers or old ales, which are just like so malty and so sweet. 
Um, this is a real exception. It's so dry and so clean. And when you say dry, like, I mean, I'm trying to understand that. Are we you, talking like grandma's for a purse? Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> dryness on this one? So dry, um, <laughs> by dry, I mean, like, it has a really nice carbonation. It has a really nice, um, like, hot balance to the malt presence. <laughs> you don't deserve <laughs> as much as everyone else. Oh my God. It's highly attenuated, which just means that the yeast has gobbled up a bunch of that sugar and turned it into a, like a nice, refreshing carbonated. Oh wow! Okay. Delicious. Thank you. Damn. Okay. So, when we taste this, what should we be tasting? What are we looking for? I don't know. You tell me. Poison each other. <laughs> not poison each other. Mmm. Mmm. And I think uh, Isaac, Ooh. you wanted to. Go over a little bit of how. Yeah, I want to talk about this. Taste beer. Um, so I want. I've been. Yeah, let's talk about dying to, to do this beer. on Geeks on Tap. We haven't managed to do this yet, so we're gonna do it here right now, now. First time. Woo! So, yeah. um, if you've ever been to a wine tasting class or a Scotch tasting class, the first thing you do is you stick your nose in. Mm -hmm. and I did that the first time. For beer, they recommend. You I agitate like it slightly like you would with a glass of wine. I gotta, I gotta talk mean to you. You're a bitch ass beer. <laughs> agitate you as much. <laughs> you're just <laughs> like your dad. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. And you're just like your mom, <laughs> which explains so much about your relationship. My mom's a dog. <laughs> so. <laughs> And then after you agitate it, you stick your nose in the beer. Stick mm -hmm. it in the middle. Stick it straight in. Just like that. They recommend two sharp sniffs and then one long inhale with your mouth open. What that does if is you it allows. Be super pretentious about it, yeah. you know. I, sni I you can... sniffed my water at a dinner date the other night, and she looked at me and just went, "Did you just sniff your water before you drank it?" Yes, yes, I did. I actually <laughs> have a side question for you, uh, beer connoisseurs. Like you were saying earlier, you came and you were like a Bud Light kind of person. You were an alcoholic. No, I hated it. But, I well, that's the uh, that was where why I'm I didn't at like at my life. <laughs> I'm starting to notice there's like IPAs, there's pale ales, which are like really mm. different but really the same. I'm having such a. Where did you There's guys have educate. your flip of switch? Go forth and educate. <laughs> yes. Go for I, it. For me, personally, the masses. for me personally, it was uh, reading um, books by uh, the uh, late author Michael Jackson. Oh, uh, okay. The Beer Lover's Guide to the World, The Scotch Lover's Guide was to the World. Was he allowed to drink? No. no. Alcohol? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not that Michael Jackson. Not no. that Michael okay. Jackson. <laughs> he was a short, fat Englishman, he, not a tall, skinny, okay. white. I just imagine he never got Englishman. his like, mm -hmm. driver's um, license over and 21. then later <laughs> The up and down one. Like, Randy Mosher. Uh, yeah, Randy Mosher. Like, if you really want a good primer on how to taste beer, how to talk about beer, uh, Randy Mosher's Tasting Beer. 200 pages long. It will give you all the vocabulary you need to start your yeah. journey. And it's and it'll super also, approachable. Yeah, yeah. Anybody can read that book and walk away and just be like, shit, I can do this. It's not a first-level psalm course. It's literally just people just uh, having a conversation about how to so taste. So how, how do you two, like when you meet somebody like Gabby here mm -hmm. or – you, you sit there and they walk into, you know, you're a bartender as right. well. When they walk into your bar and they go, I don't know what I want to drink. What do you start with? Oh, we had this moment. Yeah. No. I, you were my yeah. server. Yes. I, I always mm -hmm. start with what do you like, what do you not like. 90% mm -hmm. of the time, especially when it's ladies. No, I only being got sexist. a little bit of money and I want to get fucked up. <laughs> that's what I said. No, that's, that's every <laughs> other bar that I've worked at, not this one. <laughs> uh, most of the time they're just like, well, I really don't like hops. Okay, well, I work at a place with over 100 taps. That mm -hmm. knocks out about 20 beers. you got <laughs> about 80 to go. Let's narrow it down a little bit. Yeah, so each question kind of like... Each question yeah. is, I have a graph in my head. Yeah. And as you answer those questions, I narrow it down to four or five possible. So let's let's do this. Let's let's As we're going along, I want to narrow down. But I want to narrow down as we taste. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you guys like, not like about this? So, uh, Chicken, let's start with you. Like, you, you had a good taste of this. Yeah. Mind you, you're, you're a novice. These guys are novices, so they're not going to know what they're tasting. Can I... Mm -hmm. can I I oh, want sorry. you to. I yeah. grabbed the wrong thing. No, um, <laughs> started talking. Did you it's, really it's, it sounds about the same. We sound. I'm so used to. It like echoes it. I'm so used to that, that should be what we do. Place. Now I'm a. Uh, I will say that I know chicken's flavor profiles. I have waited on him before. Okay, so and then let's. What, uh, you hey, like. what I would say. Don't say anything about what you perceive as the taste of this. I want to hear what they perceive. No, as no, the no. Taste I was going this. to say. Yeah. Should we say it first before you? Okay. He's a malt guy. Okay. Like gentleman's relish. Sure. Dark, right, uh, right. yeah. 512 pecan. Okay. I feel like, okay, okay, I feel okay. like they're profiling okay. us already. Don't, don't I feel don't like they're doing don't that already. What do, you, what do you taste? What do you taste? I don't, do you taste I don't. Well, I, I like the fact that there is a sweet, malty flavor to it, but there is a dry, hoppy under taste to it. So by hoppy, what do you mean by that? Um, Kind of not 
not sweet, but a little bit of bitter mm-hmm. underneath. I taste that. So yeah. Do you take what? Do, what do you get out of this? Gabby, stabby, come on. So you're saying this is like a Christmas winter kind of? Yes. It's, yeah, it's a lot different than, okay, I only, we only have like seven beers on tap at my job. Mm-hmm. And like the winter stuff is usually at the Celebrator, the Double Bock. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Santos, which is kind of dark and heavy, but those are like the really as dark as, this kind of makes me, it's like sweet. Mm-hmm. I do see the the bitter undertone yeah. and mm-hmm. stuff like that. It kind of reminds me of. Like Devil's, Devil's backbone. backbone a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like Which what is percent good, actually, is this? What, as, as an alcoholic, what percent <laughs> alcohol is this? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. Well, they judge things differently in Belgium. Uh, but uh, <laughs> They're classier. <laughs> but in your case, you're actually right. Um, uh, Devil's Backbone is a Belgian-style triple. And one of the defining mm-hmm. characteristics of a lot of Belgians is the yeast strain yeah. that they do, where you get this like slightly it's fuller-bodied, mm-hmm. slightly funky, yeah. fruity yeah. on mm-hmm. the food. Definitely a funk you're gonna to get it. goes good with pizza. Yeah. Devil's Backbone. Not Everything so goes good about, with pizza. <laughs> what about Monkey? What are you, what are you looking at? What do you, what do you taste? I'm I'm very confused with this beer. No, uh, hey, why are you I'm confused gonna, with, this? with this one? You also have another beer so, next to you that you've been drinking yes, already. <laughs> like, are you mixing? Are you mixing? Uh, your, your wait, flavor you forgot palette? this third one over here. This no, that's <laughs> not a beer. Uh, what are you What are you getting out of this beer? Um, actually, okay, so um, it's like super sweet smelling, and I wasn't like I was expecting it to be bitter, and it wasn't. Yeah. And I was I was very that was super surprising, especially how sweet it smells. Because I've, yeah. I've always associated like I've always associated like beers that smell sweet, like mm-hmm. super sweet, to be more bitter like their smell is what gets you to go like oh i'm gonna try this and you go like you go like, oh that's bitter as shit but it's not this one's like so this it's one's so, so bitter good. i may it never bitter, dream again taste, it yeah, bitter, yeah like it, it it doesn't like it doesn't give you that idea like, yeah. Yeah. when you first put it to your tongue it's not bitter but it's the aftertaste after yeah. it's gone yeah. down yeah. so what it what exactly what are we tasting when we taste are we tasting what is that, that so, sweet so is belgian yeast um they're high producers of these two compounds called esters and phenols mm-hmm. and those are responsible for like spicy notes like clove and you know pepper and they're also responsible for like those big like bubble gummy banana like this orange way, like, Esther kind of Rose flavors is, like a weird taste to me yeah. Collar, uh, <laughs> caramel is another popular okay, one. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I always get a lot of caramel. I get some slightly fruity notes out of this. And, and also in a lot of Belgian beers, you'll see a lot of use of, like, Belgian candy sugar, which is going to, A, like, up the sweetness a little bit, but it's also going to up the attenuation, which is going to mean it's going to be, like, a drier, more highly carbonated, and more alcoholic beer. Nice. Because mm. candy sugar is more fermentable mm-hmm. than... So yeah, as we oh, that, okay. got you. So as we lead into the next one that's coming up in a little bit, mm-hmm. what um, you know, let's let's go on a, a totally different route, something that'll shock our, our taste buds oh, to yeah. a point where, you know, this is gonna be a totally different concept. What do you guys do in the middle of tasting beers? You normally like just take a quick moment or what? What do you how do you how do you handle that? I'm one of the weirdos. A lot of people <laughs> like to rinse in between. I don't. I actually enjoy that like five minutes of changeover between mm-hmm. like the beer you were drinking and the beer you are drinking. I do sometimes. It depends on the beers that we're crossing over between though. And I think in this case we should definitely rinse our glasses before we right. rinse okay. our glasses. Yeah. All right. We're so rinse somebody our we need water. So then we need we need to get uh, Chad. And I need you to might grab him some water or something, more. or maybe don't. even. Uh, uh, Low Oops. bat. Okay, got it. Um, so, guys, like we're going to pause for a quick moment, and we're going to do some rinsing. So, when we get back, we will be tasting <laughs> which one? Uh, Anchor Christmas Ale. Anchor Christmas Ale. Guys, and thank you for watching uh, right now to these messages. Hey, Chicken here. If you're enjoying this video podcast, go to thedrunkenanimals.com and check out more podcasts, more videos, and more things you can shake a stick at. So, go to thedrunkenanimals.com. And check it out. You can also follow us on Twitter at Drunk Animals Pod. Until next time, stay drunk, you animals. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. Yo, hey. what's up? We are back. Welcome back. We're back Welcome here back. Talking, Welcome to, back. talking to the man from Geeks on Tap, Isaac Harrigal. That's right. And what have you brought for us now? What are we, what are we tasting, tasting now? Wait, hold on. I got I to gotta, I gotta switch out my palate. Hold on. Oh, oh, that's a what, what terrible idea. Yeah, what do you got? Don't idea. take up our time. All right, so, <laughs> monkey, don't let monkey slow. So down. this next one is uh, 
particularly personal to me. It's not everybody's favorite Christmas beer, but this was the first Christmas beer I ever tried, and it's the one that I go back to every year. This is from Anchor Brewery out of San Francisco. This is their Christmas ale. Now, the big deal about this one is that it's a very light, very mild, almost a brown ale with a little bit of Christmas spice to it. Every year, they change up the hot profile, and the tree on the front of the label is always the clue to what uh, dry hopping profile they use in it. All right. It's it. very, very so subtle. So why is this so special to you? Because you just, you, you've, why, why this one? It was the first beer that I nerded out over really hardcore and sought out year after let's year. Let's crack it open. What are we yeah. waiting for? Let's, this let's is nerd a out with you. Come super on. classic Woo! Christmas beer. Okay. So Fantastic. So Anchor is known for their California Common. They're the only people that have a trademark on this beer right now. They call it Anchor Steam. Anchor Wait, I'm Steam. sorry. What's a California? A California Common is like Common. a steam beer. It's an ale lager hybrid. It's very malt centric. Um, is it steamed in the barrel or? It's so it's uh, basically like they kind of open the the kettles so it just like steams out instead of. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay. Like a so I get oil. it. Yeah. Kind of like it. making seawater into like regular water. <laughs> <laughs> the very basic. That's level. it. Seawater into regular water. You got it. Exactly. All right. So as we do, as we do, you said, swish, swish around, swish agitate, agitate from the bottom, not the top. Mm -hmm. That way, not the top. Oh, Can you agitate from the bottom, the bottom, not the top. Stick your whole Smell. nose in there. Mm. Now, what we, didn't what, you, cover, what we didn't cover on the last go round was how you actually taste the beer. So once you actually sip the beer. Like, just swish it around in your mouth with your mouth closed. Front like teeth, back teeth, does it matter? All the way all around, around. Hit all the flavor and all the flavor sensors. All of them. Now, what that does is it lets out the carbonation level and allows you to actually taste the beer itself. And then you take another sip. And when you take that next sip, then you just drink it like you normally would a beer. You just take a, just take a fucking gulp. Ah. Oh, wow. That no, is that a, does make a difference. That is a different type of way of That makes a difference because wow. I tasted wow. something different when I swished it around. Yeah. But then when I tasted it, the, the next time when I actually tasted it, I actually got the sweet flavors straight in and, and got a, mm. a a bit of a – like before I swished around and I got kind of the bitter, the sweet, and a yeah. couple of uh, different tones. Then I, I just drank it, and I was like, oh, it's nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. relaxing. Mm. And if you really want to appreciate the dry hopping profile, this works for any beer you can possibly do. Mm -hmm. Exhale out your nose after you've swallowed. Mm -hmm. It allows you to appreciate the hop profile. I don't know why. It's science. It's weird. But it does work. <laughs> could, you, you could probably explain that. I got it. Man, any this, idea? Uh, wow. This year's is, is very different from last year's. Why why is it so different? What's the difference? Um, it, I mean, it almost like based on the, the spice profile they use, I get definite star anise. Um, star anise is what you think of as licorice flavors. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. And, and then it, it almost tastes kind of like a Rausch beer. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Rausch beer is a uh, Rausch, Rausch is, is German the German for, smoke. for yeah. 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 So, so the basically, <laughs> there's a smokiness. To yeah, it. that's right. And when yeah. you exhale out your nose, you'll actually like smell that smokiness. Yeah, and there's definitely not smoked malt in here, but mm. it's they generally it's haven't just, used uh, smoked malt. But their their spice profile just kind of I don't know it, it imitates that for me a little bit. Yeah, um, last year's was nice. a bit last year's was a bit sweeter. It was, it was a, a little, little bit more caramel. Yeah, is what definitely I got. Like, toffee. A, and, yeah, um, it was more. It reminded you like a Heath bar, whereas mm -hmm. this one is like a. Of an older Heath bar, still a good Heath <laughs> an bar. Older Heath, <laughs> an older Heath, slightly bar. Um, moldy I left that Heath, Heath bar, bar in the drawer for a little while. <laughs> a Heath no, bar you good. left in your glove compartment. I don't get any glove. mold off of this. At I actually all. have a, I actually have a question oh, okay. for 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 you guys. Um, sure. Like this is this is something like I I don't I if this is something from a novice beer drinker. Um, more of like uh, when you guys burp. Um, I don't. I don't know. I, okay. Okay. I know. Okay. I'm we sorry. do often. Okay. We I know. Do I know. Often. Okay. So when you burp, like, does that give you a different flavor profile for your beer? Because it does for me. I'm like, because I'm like, I, I drank it. I'm like, this tastes delicious. But the same. Like, I'm sorry. I'm being sincere. Did you sincere eat a lot of like, like garlic earlier? 
<laughs> no, no, no. It just like, <laughs> it tastes like breakfast tacos. It's you know what? That, we but really then again, all your bitter palate of your tongue is at the right. back, so I guess you are probably getting a little that's, bit of that. I actually kind of don't know myth, on this one. That's, that's why I'm asking. Like, is that if it, this is, is a weird it? thing. I don't no, know. If, no, like, I think like gastronomically, whatever you've had to eat that day is going to like come it's gonna up mess, and whatever it's gas gonna mess you with it. Yeah. So you're tasting what you just drank. On top of whatever else you put in your mouth throughout the day. Yep. It now, still whatever that is, that's, a, that's what I'm saying. Like, it monkey, still tastes really you're good. You're tasting semen. It's okay. <laughs> is it it's a lot right. of it, or is it like? You tell me, baby. <laughs> I don't, How I don't... salty is it? <laughs> that's what he put in his mouth earlier. I'm sure. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is such a sweet ass beer. It made everything seem neutral when it came out. <laughs> sweet <laughs> ass beer. Okay, sweet so ass. you're getting little notes of uh, sweet bun ass. bunghole. That's good to know. <laughs> you're developing a palate, monkey. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Two beers in, and you've already got it down. <laughs> Does it taste like oranges? Because I didn't rub an orange on it for nothing. <laughs> Not yet. I had a question. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's the difference between this kind of beer, and I know this probably sounds really dumb, but a porter? Yeah. Remember the so, microphone? Um, that's not a dumb that's question. That's not a dumb question. Not at all. Not no? Because okay. I don't it's not know. A bad thing. Okay. Ignorance <laughs> literally means you just don't know something about yeah. something. Ignorance yeah. is not the same as dumb. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, dumb stupid. is you've been told something and you just like. Y'all are, are so much more mature than me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call me old? Yeah, I, said, I think she just called I us old, Isaac. Uh, she said mature. He's mature. older than me. I am older than her. By a lot. Now we have a skill. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> hold, on. Hold, on, hold on, hold on. We may say he's older, but I don't know if he's more mature. That is very true. <laughs> well, I'm do doing this with you books. at like 11 o'clock. After jumping around with you for a little bit, man. On top of this that, is yeah, like my 5 p.m., dude. You have dude. good taste in books. I have way better taste in movies. That is really not true. That I'm is absolutely sorry. true. I'm oh, sorry, oh. but... <laughs> Jessica Jones is not good. Uh, what? Right. what? No. This is not. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Pause, yeah. pause, See, pause. I wasn't going to bring up that elephant in the wow. room, and then you just this opened yourself up to a that, room full of weapons grade nerds. Wrong, yeah, but true. It's not what you did not this to yourself. Guys. All right. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm so, sorry. Porters and uh, <laughs> so Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, 2015. Um, you two are about to scrap. So Porter. um, <laughs> Porter is actually. <laughs> Like, that's, that's great. Okay, Morty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they rose to popularity in the late 1700s and early 1800s in London. Uh, and they were called porters because they were what the dock cans would drink every day. And they were low alcohol. Is like, porters like a word for like people who look up yeah, to? Yeah, okay. exactly. That's exactly, exactly what a porter is. Yeah. Oh. So um, they were what people would drink at the local pubs because like people would just figured out how to like kiln darker malts mm -hmm. and they started making these low alcohol beers and because London was such a shithole at the time um, <laughs> when they were cameras, still trying to take over the world mind yeah you. <laughs> uh, the water was not so potable, so they would brew beer as an alternative mm -hmm. to drinking the yep. really nasty. So porter is water. like kind of um, a liquid that you can drink that would take that would substitute water. water yeah, basically, they, they really yeah. Drank that it is instead of water. sick. They seriously, it's did. weird. It's I know, weird, and they did this for generations. Uh, so uh, like that's how they got in their America, the same thing happened. <laughs> in, America, in America, the same yeah. thing happened. That was where like you know whiskey came from because of the fact that. Nobody had sanitation. We didn't have toilets back in the day. So every street, like when you watch the TV show Deadwood, yeah. like remember mm -hmm. that those streets are muddy because everybody's throwing their piss pots out it there. It had nothing every to do day. with the fact that it yeah. rained. That leaches yeah. into the soil yeah. and then mm -hmm. it goes into yeah. the local water source. Disgusting. Yeah. That's why they were all is there, alcoholics. Mm -hmm. Is there a specific so reason why they're like on a grand nutty American tradition? Type of things when I think <laughs> oh, about yeah, porters? Nice. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, it. Cause Cause I was thinking about like, like pecan porter, walnut. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, I mean, like that's just kind of like a regional twist on a traditional okay. porter. Mm -hmm. um, it's our own yeah. South flavor, kind of yeah, to the porter exactly. idea. Exactly. It's kind yeah. of regionalizing this. So, style. what is this one with the purple label you got? What is this? Speaking. Of are we going really? <laughs> are we going really fancy? So fancy that we had to speak into the glass first. <laughs> yeah. But to answer your question, Hello, Jesse. Jesse. Yeah. this is Jesse. like more what of is a, thing? Is this thing on? like a modern take <laughs> on a darker beer, which is like adding. I noticed. I noticed you don't ever use mics. To, uh, like a stout kind of porter base. Um, 
Yeah, so this is like a more. Is like this the could base. be a very It doesn't mean it's a nutty kind of beer. Yeah, it's going to be a dark kind right. of beer. Right, and this is not necess- This is like more of a blend between like a porter and an old ale. This is kind of a class, like okay. a classification to fire. Y'all know shit. This is my chance to learn. <laughs> I know <laughs> shit. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I personally know how long this conversation can go on. Yeah, no, no. Uh, okay. So okay. if you want to know more about to po- porters, Go to go to Sahara at Jester Geeks on Tap. Like Friend us on Facebook. Jester King. Jester King. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Plug. And Jester King. <laughs> Halfway, you. but I appreciate you. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, speaking of the motherland of England, for us pale people, mm-hmm. um, this is from here? Samuel Smith. I was waiting. Thank it's you. a big debut. I already got this one. is from uh, Samuel Smith. This is their winter welcome album. So Sam Smith. Huh? Not Sam Smith. <laughs> no. Sam Smith? Not Sam Smith. Samuel, <laughs> Samuel Smith. Smith. The okay. classical okay. way of saying it. All right. All right. So let's let's go through this. Samuel Smith. So for this one, this is a, a special winter beer that they brew every year. Um, essentially, it's what's called a winter warmer style, which is kind of a hybrid. If you're going to talk about flavor profiles between I, like I'm a black ale. Warm. Well, yeah. Uh, between like a black ale and an amber. Mm-hmm. It's like a very stiff what? amber, not quite an old ale. What? No, it's really? not like a black ale. It's not like a black ale. About? Okay, so, okay, so everybody, let's let's do our 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 sniffing, our mix, our agitating, Ooh. agitating. Like I don't like you. Oh yeah. I hated you, you. I hated you when you when you stole that stole that candy bar. <laughs> All right, and All right, you've got brother issues. You've got mother <laughs> issues. Let's not even talk about your issues mm-hmm. with your dad. Yes. Tons. <laughs> All right, and now sip. Mm. Mm. There's like a a sweet, but it kind of goes into a kind of a bit of uh, slightly not mm-hmm. sour, but whoa, that's fucking weird, man. It's like super sweet at the end. Yeah. Like for yeah. me, uh, it's super sweet at the end. Did what? you say this was like an amber? Or? Mm, it's no? not really like an amber. It's so um, winter warmers and old ales, and well, th- they're kind of from the same. Um, mm. Nice like style profile in that they're very malt centric. They have maybe a little bit of accentuation from um, noble hops. In this case, they use Fuggle and Fuggle. what is it? Fuggle. I have a cat named Fuggles. What's a, what's, what's um, Fuggle? She has a cat named Fuggle. Chinook. I do. Uh, which is a hop. It's like a, a retarded. It always Fuggle. Fuggle. What? She has a cat named Chinook? Okay, so I have a She's cat named Chinook and a cat named Fuggles. These are both um, hop varieties. Anyway, <laughs> that's neither stop. here nor there. Yeah, so in this cats. case, um, this uses Fuggle <laughs> and <laughs> this uses Fuggle and Goldings, which are British hop varieties, which are just so kind of add. it's a little bit fuggly? Mm. It's a little fuggly. <laughs> It's a little fugly. Shit. I like this fugly. It, but it's yeah. not so fugly that I won't put it in my mouth. No. No. <laughs> that, uh... Ladies. It was a little what? <laughs> Fuglacious. Fuglacious? Yeah. <laughs> so what is... Fug... So Fugs. fuggle. Fuggles? Fuggle, yeah. Fuggle, fuggle is, sounds uh, like something you want to pet. It's like, it's a fuggle. I know! That's why you would name it a cat. Fuggles fuggle. for fuggles. Snuggles it sounds like a... Yeah, fuggles. it sounds like yeah. a... A fuggle sounds like a kind of a fucking snuggle at the same them. time. I know. It's a snuggle I know. fuck. It could be sexy. It could be for children. You really mm. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Much like the Muppets. They're fuggles. So it sounds like it sounds like a Jim Henson thing. Fuggles, yeah. we're the Fuggles. <laughs> was that Fraggle Rock? Was that was what it was supposed to be? Oh, yeah. oh. The Fuggles. Do, do, but, oh. No, those do, do. are Fruggles. We'll, we'll oh. talk about those. Fuggles. Take your cares away. <laughs> All right. Um, so what are Fuggles? Drinking beer for another day. <laughs> All right. We're we gonna play so, the repeater game. Yeah, um, we are gonna play the repeater game. I. I <laughs> are we gonna play the repeater? Game? Uh, we are gonna play. <laughs> I don't know. Are we? All right, guys. So, point <laughs> making is point so making is on this. So, this variety is also called stock ales, and they're called stock ales because you could keep them for a mm-hmm. long time without them spoiling because of the high alcohol content and high sugar content in them. Mm. A lot of the higher alcohol beers develop because of the fact that, like, you could store them forever. And, and then it would day. make more alcohol yeah. at the yeah. longer you stored it. Uh, not yeah, necessarily. Yeah, well, no, actually. I mean, yes, a little bit. Depending on how much residual sugar is in there. Yeah, but most things will have... As long as I mean, it has a lot of sugar. sugar. Yeah. <laughs> it has a lot of sugar. Do this all night. Yes. <laughs> it, essentially, yes. Yeah. yeah. Science, like look one. it up. Bill Nye, the science guy, Beekman's World. I don't actually, really I think, yeah. I think you're the, the beer science man. 
I have my mom. Isaac, Isaac Harrell. Science guy. Isaac, I just, I just the beer science it, guy. I just called this uh, a black ale, so I'm wrong no. about yeah. a lot of things. No, you're wrong about hey, a lot Bill of Nye's things. Hey, Bill Nye's been wrong. He's been wrong before. <laughs> has he ever Most, been wrong? No. Mostly, he has. mostly. He, does, he comes out and openly apologizes about it. There you go, like and you just did too. So mostly, you just yeah. as good as Bill Nye. All right. Yes. Fair enough. Mostly. Now, mind you, you're not Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> But it's okay. You don't have a wrestling title like him. And you're definitely not Carl man. Sagan. Oh no! Nobody could be Carl Sagan. Oh, who would be the Carl Sagan of beer? There is no Carl Ooh, Sagan of beer besides be Michael good. Jackson. Michael and you know Jackson. why? Because he's fucking dead. I just can't yeah, stop exactly. thinking about Michael Jackson. <laughs> they have that in common. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so then, who's the, who's the Neil, Sorry, Neil deGrasse Tyson Jared. of beer? Yeah. The Neil deGrasse Tyson of beer would probably be Randy Mosier. Randy Mosher is a Randy Mosher yeah. right now, yeah. yeah. Nice. Absolutely. As far as like people who would be well known that How far away from show. Randy Newman is Randy Mosher? <laughs> Quite a bit. Yeah. Randy Newman is old and cynical away? and gave up a long time how ago. Far Randy Mosher still has hope and right shit. How far yes. away is Randy <laughs> Mosher from person. Bill Mosher? Wait, what? I, I, don't, know. I, have no idea I don't know who that is. That is but we okay. have more beer to drink, Dick. So we're going to do that. Let's yeah, let's do that. Oh my gosh, that's great. So Just what's the snacks one? Talk to us. Oh, wait. I think I know this company. Someone here might know this company very well. I do. <whistles> Sorry. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do the jingle bells. <laughs> You told me Santa was fucking coming, man. I'm not letting you leave till you show me this. Santa's not coming. I just really don't want to hear you. about Santa ejaculating Santa on anything. Is coming. Frankly. Okay, I'm happy about that. All right, so, so this one. <laughs> this is from Five Stones out of Cibolo, up near Dallas. Uh, these guys are really interesting. Mm. It's a husband and wife team. Nice. And a husband and wife team. Yes. They Cibolo just, like onion? So small. Onion, Texas. Like They're really, really crazy Kind of like company. Santa and Mrs. Claus. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And they brew whatever beer they want to. They don't brew. They brew like very standard styles, but then they throw their own twist into it. Yeah, they don't really Okay, yeah, we'll just drink it. Got Take board? that shit out of the way. We've got uh, <laughs> next beer. Let's reintroduce this one again. All right, so fun? this is from uh, Five Stones out of Cibolo, Texas. Uh, this is a darker Christmas ale slash winter warmer style brewed with cinnamon, nutmeg, and Ooh. vanilla. Got it. And allspice. Dude, this, this picture all on it is the greatest. Everybody, let's, let's do. Their artwork is really go. glorious. And Christmas. 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 Not pointing at each other. So this is Christmas. Mm -hmm. And what are we drinking? Yep. Something lovely. Oh, so, oh yeah. man, this it's is so Christmas, really, dude. Ooh. Exactly. Holy shit. This yeah, this is one is, is pretty exciting. Yeah. It's pretty light. I mean, like, it's very lightweight as far as, like, yeah, the flavor profile goes. Yeah. It's not as heavy as either. Mm. But, dude, it, like, hits you, like, hits you in the teeth, literally. It's like, yeah, let's, let's, let's keep drinking. Nice. Christmas. It's Christmas. Let's, let's, let's drink it. The spice character is really apparent, but it doesn't beat you over the head. No, 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 what I like that. about these guys is that they Super do really, yeah, they do really different takes on standard styles they throw extra things in they make it their own uh and they also bottle condition everything which means they throw extra yeast and sugar in each bottle Can oh really I... bottle conditioning that means as you're going along is it as you're talking uh, like it's you like talk about it, it still brews as it no. goes right so yeah That's basically different. they add a little bit of sugar into the bottom of the bottle and they pitch a little bit of additional yeast and mm -hmm. so as the bottle ages it'll get a little bit drier it'll so get you're a little this bit is like higher a live alcohol beer. yes wow. this is a live beer. Wow. That's a nice. really good observation. Uh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah that's a Dude, alive. That is, it's alive. Um, no, it's just like, it, it tastes like, it, it, I mean, um, for me, the bitterness from it comes from like kombucha. Like this, this has that exact same, this is weird. The, more of a like, tang. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tang, yeah. There we go, a tang. Yeah, Dude, there really isn't, it's perfect. not a bitter, it, is a, it has a tang. Right. A, yeah, a little, bit, I, of, a little I, bit to it. Can I totally disagree with you about my appreciation of Five Stones? Is that I, acceptable? That's yeah, absolutely yeah, let's, acceptable. Let's okay. what, you don't appreciate it? I, like I, I would love it if they made one base beer that was like a traditional style and did it really well before they started adding a bunch of shit to their beer because mm. so much of their beer, especially early on, tastes like floor cleaner. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, when they yeah. when they when they oh, first yeah. debuted, absolutely. How much floor cleaner have you ingested? I mean, <laughs> you know, I was a toddler once. Hey, my <laughs> parents did not safeguard that house very well. So. Nice. Also, nice. she who smelt it dealt it, <laughs> so <laughs> she knows about that too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but yeah, no. But they've the gotten thing, better, but I still like don't. 
Oh, totally well. get the nuances of the little challenge, little challenge I, for uh, uh, five stone. I did. I five see stones. where you're coming. I see mm -hmm. where you're coming. I've from. never had a beer by them that I was just like. Damn. You heard it here first. Yes. Five stones. Do you have the stones for that challenge? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh damn. damn. I'm gonna get fired damn. from my job. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, what are you talking about, dude? Oh. Like, this, this, it's a beer to have. And this is the magic of editing. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. I love dude. this beer. This I fully is, endorse this beer. What do you guys, what do you guys taste? What <laughs> do you guys taste? Chicken, what are you tasting? What are you tasting? What are you tasting? What are you I taste the cinnamon and I taste the. Um, cinnamon? I do taste the spice, but I don't know if it, I'd say cinnamon, cinnamon, right? There's a lot of spice. Cinnamon? And I smell cinnamon, Christmas. Nutmeg, allspice, yeah. and taste vanilla beans. Allspice most definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can definitely get allspice. What, what kind of spices are in yeah. here that make me think of Christmas? Because I don't immediately thought Gingerbread. cinnamon as well, <laughs> but yeah, I know it's not. Ginger? It does taste like a gingerbread kind yeah, of thing going on. Yeah, gingerbread is... Cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg, allspice. Holy yeah. shit. Cinnamon, Literally, those vanilla. are the three spices nutmeg. that are nutmeg, in gingerbread. Yeah. I don't That's ever, I, I don't ever yeah. really, yeah. I don't need a lot of gingerbread. You've obviously never I've had made one gingerbread. gingerbread I've had never made them. I did, really? Do I look like I make shit? Yes. What the hell do you have a... <laughs> yes, it does. It does look like... <laughs> seriously, this is starting to turn into a problem here. Uh, <laughs> I get no love from you, a-holes. But I love you. <laughs> Thank you for the sausage the other time I saw you. Uh, and that's I would I also uh, like to thank you for the phrasing. sausage that you Are we you still got doing us. phrasing? <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> phrasing, <laughs> mother. Dude, 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 that was phrasing. phrasing, not a dude, thing. The, yes. Hey, dude, the, right. the sausage right, guys. you gave us So let's do so this. Let's, guys, let's, let's finish okay. up. Thank you for being here for Geeks on Tap. I'm doing the same thing where I'm talking into the glass like you are. I'm it's sad really about my beer being empty. It's very easy to do after a while because you're just like used to holding the glass. I'm used to holding both, but somehow Ugh. I forget the microphone a lot of the time. I know, right? I know. It's you a can't drink it out of the best microphone. of us, man. You can't drink out of the microphone. <laughs> well, guys, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for being here. Uh, do you want to give us any quick plugs? you want to uh, send out to anything? Geeks on Tap Facebook? Uh, we've got a Facebook page, Geeks on Tap backslash Facebook. I don't know what it is. It's Geeks on Tap. Just look it up on Facebook. If you don't um, have news Facebook, yeah. what the fuck are you doing? Uh, no. We're about to get the website up and running, and that'll be geeksontap.com. Or Geeks on Tap Show. T uh, Geeks on Tap Show dot com. Oh, thank you. Geeks yes. on Tap Show dot Thank com. you, Jared. <laughs> uh, he's not associated at all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But he but knows no, everything, I, man. He knows on everything. The website, I'm just a really have, big we're fan. Gonna have, we're going to have little videos like this, hopefully, <laughs> when we get it edited down. And uh, we'll have little stingers and stuff. We're also going to have a full-time blog that I'm going to be writing uh, about beer and stuff. We're going to have guest bloggers like Sahara uh, as well. And, you know, just it, we're just starting to get this off the ground. And at the end of the day, like, ultimately what I want to talk about with Geeks on Tap and what we all want to talk about is culture. It's the beer culture. It, it doesn't matter what opinion you have about beer. It just matters that you do have opinions. And if you're new into beer, please get into it and find people like us uh, who will be more than happy to sit around and debate all the random bullshit with you. Also, if you're a female in the industry, I highly recommend um, growing boobs because apparently that's how we're measured by our, our value in the beer industry. All right. So. Well, my boobs have not grown in quite some time. <laughs> Jared's are coming in very nicely. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. he just had a birthday recently, so yeah. I feel like chicken over here is going to be good. Uh, if you can't grow boobs, then I'm going to just get smarter and slightly more charming, and I feel what like it'll be okay. What if, I, yeah. what if I use ass instead? Uh, if you can make it up with ass, you are amazing. Um, these are the beers we've had tonight. Please seek them out. Um, <laughs> uh, for me personally, these are some of the some of the best beers that are available readily in Austin, Texas. Uh, you can go to Witchcraft. You can go to Whippin. You can go to any Specs. one of a hundred beer stores. Specs, blah blah blah. Go to Witchcraft. Go to Witchcraft. Go to Witchcraft. Go to Witchcraft. Okay, so Witchcraft. Witchcraft. I guess it is. Um, but for me personally, like, the reason that I do this show and the reason that I thank you guys very much for having us on, beer is a culture, beer is a relationship that you can make not with just with the beer itself, but with the individuals. And I've enjoyed this journey that I'm on, and I hope you guys come on the journey with us with uh, Geeks on Tap. And Sahara? Sahara, do you have any in, anything you'd like to say um, on our way out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Um, 
So as like a female in the industry, I get a lot of people that come up to me and say like, so do you drink beer? And I feel like you wouldn't go into a shoe store and be like, so do you wear shoes? Do you like <laughs> know what they do? Do you know how they function? Um, and I feel like that stereotype is really changing thanks to like the pioneering efforts of breweries like Jester King, mm -hmm. like w where I currently work and, you know, places like Witchcraft, which make it, you know, um, uh, they make it a priority to employ like females that are knowledgeable in the industry. And I feel like that's becoming more of a like crucial part of the Austin beer industry, which is yeah. really encouraging. And uh, I feel like it's a really special nurturing like beer environment in that respect. If someone wants to uh, get in touch with you and really wants to get some answers from you and doesn't want to talk to Isaac because he's kind of crazy. He is kind of like, crazy. Wh where would they find you? What dick? Where are, would are, they find me? Um, they would find me probably on Facebook. Sierra on Facebook? Smith. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you also, do you bartend? Uh, I, I do at Jester King. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh my. Yeah. Jester King. Well. We've yeah. been there. Had oh. that. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Very nice, very mm -hmm. nice. What do you do at Jester King? Like, just uh, like right now, I'm in the tap room. In the tap room. Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah, cool. It's a lot of fun. Well, give us a little show. Where where can they find Jester King? Like, uh... Uh, Jester King is out uh, like past the Y. If you're in Austinite, if you're not in Austinite, I don't know how to tell you where it is. It's what um, about website? Do they have a Do they have a they website? They have a website. Yeah. Um, is it on uh, here? But it's yeah, it's between Jester uh, King, Austin, Texas. Yeah, between Austin and Dripping Springs, still technically yeah. Austin, but we'll show you a map. We'll yeah, show you a map. You guys, we'll, we'll show you. We'll get you a map. We'll be like, oh, you go up there, you go down that way, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. You drive, you know, there's a big sign, no sign. I don't know. Like Dude, it's, something. it's just past the Y. Just remember it's that. past the Y. It's past 290 exit. Yeah. yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting, like, baseball references back there. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> we're sliding so in the home, <laughs> and we're, we're really it off as we do it. This is going to be the best homer ever. Guys. <laughs> I just want to say thank you guys for listening to Drunken Animals, and thank you guys for being on our Drunken Animals video <laughs> cast with the Geeks on Tap. Geeks on Tap, sir. Yeah. You are uh, you're the man for Geeks on Tap there. Oh. So uh, I know. So you want to see more of Isaac Harrigal, this man and his journey through Geeks on Tap. Check him out. And for us, for uh, the Drunken Animals, I just want to say you've been listening to the Drunken Animals, and... Uh, Next beer is on us, or actually on Isaac. Thank you. That's not true at all. I'm not going to buy you a beer. They're